Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, it's so awesome that I actually can just make now and not have to worry about trying to sell these. Um, as you might have known in my previous video, uh, all the soaps that I make now from now on will be going to a local homeless shelter for women and domestic violence. Yeah, generally just people who have who have got problems that aren't able to sustain a normal rental assistance. Yeah, if I can make their life a little bit brighter by giving them some soaps, then I'm all for it. Uh, as I said, I'm using these uh, tall and skinny molds now. They hold around about 1.56 kilograms of soap. Uh, I'm going to throw my recipe up if you haven't already seen it. And there it is. I'll leave it at the end as well. You can also find the link to the recipe in the community section at the top of the page. And there's a few recipes there. So I've, this one's been adjusted. Uh, so it fits this particular mold. So if you have this mold, then this recipe will work fine for you. It doesn't go right to the top, but you can put a little top on it. And that's what I'm gonna be doing today. The fragrance that I'm gonna be using is fresh coffee. I'm gonna be using this gold mica and also this uh, mocha mica and also some titanium dioxide for the white. Now the white and the gold, I'm not gonna add the fragrance to. And the reason is because this particular fragrance will turn the soap brown no matter what. So that's why I'm only gonna use this mocha color uh, and it will turn brown anyway, but uh, I wanna see the results straight away rather than you know, two or three days later when it starts to turn. Um, and if I can, and the video is being edited in that time frame, then I'll show you before and after photos so you can see. But I think it will most likely be pretty brown when it comes out of the mold, uh, but it will turn darker over the next few days. And that's pretty much about it. Um, so I was about to do this, but I don't wanna make this video too long. Uh, I want to try and keep it to just what I'm actually doing. But if you'd like to see me make the lye, how I make it, and also the oils that I use, and I don't know, all this pouring uh, process that I'm doing right now of melting all the butters and things like that, if you want to see that, let me know in the comments below. For the time being, I'm just going to skip through that and go straight to where I've got all my oils melted. Okay, got my glasses on. I've got all my oils uh, ready. And my lye is here. I've got my colors over here. Uh, I'll just quickly show you. So there's brown, white, and gold. And then I have the fragrance. And as you can see, the color of the fragrance is really, really dark. That's what's gonna turn the, the soap really, really brown. So uh, while I'm using the brown mica, it's gonna get even darker. So I think we're pretty much ready to go. All right, so this is the lye water and it's going in the oils right now. Now when I do this, I always take this container with the lye and I put it straight in the sink so it's out of the way. And that way I know that nothing else is gonna affect that container. Okay, so here we go. Just gonna pop all the bubbles, get all the bubbles out of the stick blender so that none of them get put into the batter. Okay, and that's it. It doesn't take that long. Okay, so I am gonna split these two up first because I'm not gonna add the fragrance just yet. I wanna be able to add the fragrance to majority of the brown. So I'm just gonna add these two. Hopefully that's not too much. I don't think it should be. They're only small containers. Yeah, so that majority of that is gonna be brown and they're gonna be the colors. So that should be all right. I'm just gonna put them aside. Now I might have to work pretty quickly with this. So I don't know. So I'm just gonna get this moved around. I'm gonna add my brown. Okay, so it's still very fluid at this stage, which is great. I know when I get the stick blender in there, 
and blend this up a little bit, it will uh, thicken up a lot quickly. So I'm gonna leave the fragrance off that for just a second. I'm gonna add the other two colors to these. I'm gonna add the gold first because I think the white titanium dioxide is gonna accelerate. Speed up the process, so to speak. It's just got that goldy tan to it. Beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. Love that. Absolutely love it. And it's still very fluid too, which is great. All right, so the last one, this is gonna be TD. Yeah, see that with the with the TD, I can never get a good mix with just the spatula. I definitely have to use the stick blender to get that white. But as soon as you do, it speeds everything up. So I will do that in just a moment. I probably added too much to that. Um, let's go back and make sure this one's still fluid. Yep, yeah, beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to add the fragrance now to this one. Get all that goodness out of there. Okay, just mix that in. Now it's time to use the stick blender on a few of these. I'm going to go from lightest to darkest. No, that's fine. That's good. All right. And we go into the gold. No, that's good as well. Fantastic. And now into the brown. All behaving very well, which is encouraging. I do know that this fragrance overheats, so I do expect it to get really hot and really fast for that matter. So let me just check on this one. Yeah, so that's perfect. And the gold, yep, yeah, that's perfect as well. And this is the brown, all very fluid still, which is amazing to tell you the truth. Very happy with so far with this, how this is, uh, this is working out. So here we go, we're gonna start pouring this. Actually, you know what? I think because it's so fluid, a drop swirl is gonna be enough. I don't think I need to, I don't think I need to do the chopstick swirl on this one. So we're just going to put this on top. It's thickening up quite well, but it's not as thick as what I thought it would be. It's been a while since I've used this fragrance, so. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm in your way. I keep forgetting that I'm filming this and you can't see it properly. Because see, most of the time I can't see what the camera sees. Because I'm on the other side. I'm where my hand is now. And I noticed a couple of videos that I did that uh, you couldn't even see what I was doing because the camera was pointing at my elbow. And I, I, do, I do apologize for that. It's certainly not my intention to block the view. So I'm trying to, you know, even after six years, I'm still trying to learn how to film properly. I'm not a filmmaker, I'm just, just a regular average guy trying to make his way in this universe. I must admit, I'm not doing a great job, but uh, I'm trying.
Wait for this to set up a little bit so I can use this spoon like I did in the last video and push it into the center because I really do like that height that you get on it. I'm not really happy with the top. It looks very plain. So I'm just going to get a, a paddle pop stick and I don't know, go over it a little bit and just sort of move it back and forth. I probably could just leave it like that, couldn't I? I mean, no, I want to do the spoon thing because it adds that extra height into the center. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to not dig it in. I'm just going to put it into the side and push it up into the center. Am I a dummy or what? Did I do a good job? Does that look all right? Yeah? I don't know. If you've done this technique before, did I do the right thing? I'd love your opinion. So if you're a soap maker and you've done this technique, uh, let me know if I've done the right thing in the comments below. All right. I will come back tomorrow and reveal this masterpiece. I'm gonna call it. We'll see what it's like inside. I'm, I'm hanging to see it because it was so fluid. But this is set up really nicely. It's the top is stayed exactly where I wanted it to. And I'm going to be back tomorrow to unmold it. Okay, so it's been around about um, 24 hours since I've made this. How's that? Beautiful. Okay, so we're looking to be all one color at the moment. But as you know, I added the, the gold and the white on the inside. So that's going to be really interesting because when you go to cut these things, uh, the pattern is on the design on the inside. So it might look boring on the out, but it's going to hopefully, fingers crossed, look good on the inside. Okay, I've set up this little camera down here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to make the first cut just to take the end piece off. And that was silly, I didn't even tighten the wire. All right. Oh, yes. How amazing is that? I told you, it's all on the inside. That is, it's a plain color on the outside, right around. And then there's just amazing design in the center. All right, let's see what else we got.
All right, that's the last bar. It's just wonderful. I love how that's turned out. Can't wait for that to get dark. That's going to look awesome. All right, so I think these turned out absolutely fantastic. I'm in love with them. They smell good. They smell so good. It's just like coffee. Uh, now, I'm not a coffee drinker, but these do smell pretty damn amazing. I'm impressed. It's been a while since I've made this fragrance, so um, I'm looking forward to seeing what it actually does. Like I keep saying, uh, the this caramel that you see here, this caramel color will go pretty dark brown. And it's just going to make the white and the gold, which is now cream, going to really pop. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. So I'm going to take some photos before and then I'll take some photos after and I'll show you on the screen here what they're going to look like. But uh, all in all, I'm really impressed with how that turned out. And I think I made the right choice by not making it like 33% uh, of each one. I'm glad that I did majority of it in the really dark brown. Uh, and the rest of it was just the gold and the white. And I think that's why it makes a, a little bit better swirl because it's not completely even. You know, sometimes you get one color that's overpowering and the other two colors don't get any say at all. Where in this way, they've got their say and they're not overpowering. These will all go to the uh, local homeless shelter. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.